What word? Sword. Song. Good. And you don't have to sound it out if you already know the word. You already know it. Just say it. Sing. Sing. Oops. Getting messy now. Sing. Shouldn't have rubbed out the tea. Bite. Boots. Toot. Made up word. Tay. May. May. <laughs> this one's a made up word. Mum. <laughs> Should have left the tea there. Right. Excellent, mate. Well Sign. done. It's really important that this activity is done efficiently. You'll notice in the video that I wasn't making eye contact with the student. That's actually important. It may seem rude, but it's important because when you make eye contact with a student, they make eye contact with you, obviously, which takes their eyes away from the stimulus you want them to be looking at, the word. So don't make eye contact. Write your first word. The student will know that they need to read it aloud. You don't need to look at the student. Your eyes should be going back to your teacher guide to find the next word. As soon as the student is given the response, rub the appropriate letters out, write the new word in. The student should read it. Your eyes are going back to the teacher guide. You're finding the next word that you need to be writing on the board. You should be getting a learning trial or a new word done every two to three seconds. It should be really snappy. Don't worry about being fancy with a duster and your whiteboard marker. Keep your whiteboard marker in your hand at all times. Don't put it down to do any rubbing out. Just use your finger. You can always clean your finger on a tissue later. It's all about being efficient, snappy. Get as many learning trials done as you possibly can. In terms of correcting errors, if the student makes a letter sound error, point to the appropriate letters on the whiteboard and ask, what sound? If they give you the right response, you can assume it was just a random or attention error and ask them to read the word again and carry on. If they make a letter sound conversion error, supply them with the right sound. Those letters make the sound OO or whatever it is. What sound? The student repeats the sound and you then direct them to read the word.